surprise, we have, we're crazy and we got new dining furniture. Yes, we've been wanting to for a long time because we knew we needed new chairs. We needed new chairs, bad. And you guys know we're always changing stuff around. And I love this table, but it's just not, I don't think it's ended up being the right thing for this space and we found a better option. But we're gonna keep this in our Collection. repertoire because it's very cute Yes, and I love it. It's I think perfect. we said it in the last vlog that we got new chairs, but we never showed them. So we'll yeah. show you those real quick. And then I just went and picked up the new table. And, and they're all vintage, so I'm sorry about that. But Hunter and I just can't get away from vintage furniture. It's just made different because it's like made out of real, it's like solid, solid wood yeah. and real materials, and we just can't help it. We just like keep going back. I so, know. and this is a good table. We like this table Beautiful, a lot, yeah. and we might use this upstairs as our desk. Yeah. Um, we're still toying with that idea because we're wanting to really. Now that like uh, he's getting bigger, he's getting a little bit bigger. We either want to make the top floor a playroom or let him be able to play more down, down here, here with the nanny while we're working. We're more leaning towards making that top floor our workspace, just because we get out of the way when we're working. We want to get out of the way of the nanny and smoke, and let's still allow her to like be in the kitchen and not feel like she's bothering us or anything like that. Especially as he gets older, like coming up on eating like normal food, just so she has access to the kitchen for like snacks, cooking him lunch, like all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I think it'd be better for her to be able to be down here. Yeah. So, so we're looking at tables for up that up there. We might use this one if we decide to make that our office. Yeah. Um, or we'll probably end up going vintage again. But I feel like this is just a really good table. It's such a good table, and it claps into a little circle. I just love this table so much. It's from Lulu in Georgia, and it's will be in our collection. I, I imagine guess. we'll end up using it as like an entryway table at a, at a house as a circle or something. You totally. know what I'm saying? Something it's like that. It's the perfect entryway perfect table. Perfect size. What does Booker say? Your little tangent. Thank you. Well, so I was like, if it's a circle, I'll just start right here and then we'll walk here. Okay, here we go, ladies and gents. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a heavy. Good thing I work out. What am I doing now? Can okay. we turn it? Yeah, lift that side. Just like that. Right there. Just right there. Okay. 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 She's nice. Yeah, that's a good one. She is nice. And now with the wood combo, we'll want a rug in here too. Yeah, I think like light rug. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So I don't want to snap the legs. <laughs> yes, we really need to like we're not putting the weight on the leg, we need to kinda of like lift it. Lift it. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, much better. Okay. Gorgeous. Stunning. Little chairs. Cozy. What were we thinking? It's so weird. Oh my god, Hunter. Finally. <laughs> That's what we were needing. <laughs> oh, it's like a real family home now. It's Feels so cozy. Cute. This is the vibes. <gasps> and now think about like a cute little setup right there with a piece of art above it. Totally. Like it makes all the difference. I know. Good. This is literally perfect. Good color, and it's 18th century. And we will, Hunter and I are <laughs> we're collectors. This one's this is an Italian. Mm, we tend to gravitate towards Italian. And then the Italian other one we like for the possible antiques. desk is French. Yeah, I feel like we definitely tend to to lean towards Italian. That's Italian too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I think we like the shape or the woods or something that they use yeah, there. Yeah, the craftsmanship. Something about it, they just know. And like, look, this is like worn away where you can actually see like the rod. It's like worn. So nice. Oh my god. And just all of these pieces that we've been like accumulating over the years, all of our antiques and even our new stuff too, just like in a farmhouse. Oh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's so nice. Perfect. And the rustic vibe that you're talking about and yeah. the farming vibe that I'm talking about, it's like cozy. 
I know. And it's, it's like, like warm. it's warm and it like it's feels, like it's like real. a soul. Yes. Soulful. Yes. There's just something about old furniture. There's like an energy that's just different. It sounds and so now, psychotic, but like antiques carry energy, I swear. And like you can feel the difference versus a new piece of furniture. You just can't. Yeah. And now that we got these chairs with the boucle seats, yeah. we probably need, need new parcels. But I don't know. But what we're gonna sell everything. What I was gonna tell you keep. what I was gonna tell you is with this now being like low and the chairs being like smaller and more yeah. petite than those other chairs. Yes. I think we can go taller chairs here for some depth and dimension. Agree, agree. I want some I need, I want cool bar stools. Like really cool ones. I know, they're unique. hard to find. They're really hard to find. Yeah. And then to like wrap up what I wanna do in this section is the lights. The lights, yes. Look like good quality. Well, we have to get another, we have a storage unit and we have a pod. We're gonna get another storage unit because we have so much to store, furniture-wise. It's even stuff like uh, we talked to our builder the other day and we were hoping to leave the washer and dryer in the cabin while they're doing the reno, but he was like, no, y'all need to move that out. So we Because we're, we're gonna leave that washer and dryer for the cabin. Mm -hmm. And so we need to store them somewhere, our storage unit and pods full. Yeah. So we're gonna get a storage unit for that and we're like, we might as well just get like a decent sized storage unit for Couches we have, tables, bar stools, stuff like that. Rugs, that is long. Because we also ordered a new sofa. New sofa, which we'll show you all in the upcoming. It's gonna be here in like two weeks. Well, you guys know when we moved into this place, like we kind of just like made it work with what we had, and then we added on like little necessities. We were like, we need a table, we need um, bar stools, but we had those. Chair. Everything was just sort of like kind mismatched. Of it was kind of like also like under pressure to get something in here. Exactly. And then a year flew by. We were like, this place is not our vibe. It doesn't feel like Juju and Hunter. So we were like, we it's time to like really make it what we want it. And yeah. this this is making me feel like more myself. Here we are justifying our decor purchases. <laughs> I know. But we love but we, we love, love good furniture, and this is a good piece. These chairs are good pieces. You spend a little bit of a premium to buy a quality, yeah. but you have the piece forever. Like you add it to your collection. It's like buying a designer handbag, like something quality. Like you just, I, it's yeah. hard to explain. It lasts. Or like a watch or. And what's cool is now that we have all these like really great pieces like this yeah. and like that big piece right here. Yeah. When we design the farmhouse, Oh, we can, can design, design around. around the pieces, like measurement-wise and all that. Well, you know, it's funny. I'm glad we got this in here, but I was thinking, I'm like, we have redid this kitchen. It would be, it would have been cool to do a rough, like an island that was like wooden. But right, now okay. that we have this, no, okay. it makes sense. This is literally the perfect table for this space. It is, huh? The size, because of the width, is perfect. But it's like a just enough breathing room mm -hmm. around it. It's fantastic. Um, oh, also on, so an, on another note, I bought the shiplap today. Oh yeah. For mm -hmm. the fireplace and. Well, I don't think we talked about it on here actually. Oh, you showed it on Instagram. I think we only showed it on Instagram. Yeah. I have a couple other ideas besides the shiplap. You but do. I know you're kind of set on the shiplap, so I'm happy to do that. Okay. But now with us having some more of these farmy rustic pieces. Yes. I don't want to make this farmy and no. rustic. And sometimes I feel like shiplap can pull for me. It can, but the narrower planks are a little bit more cottage, yeah. coastal, a little like. I was thinking no, no. more like a stone. Okay. Or a like concrete, like plaster, with a beautiful like ornate like concrete piece over the fireplace. I'm down, but you already bought the materials. Uh, I know. I know. Well, we could just do like a wall. Yeah. Are these ten foot ceilings? They are, right? Where's your handy dandy tape measure? But those pieces are 12 feet long. Yeah. What I'm saying, if you don't want to do that in the fireplace, I'm down to, to shiplap the stairwells and paint them that creamy color to give like the stairwell. Where? where the oh, the landing. The landing. The landing. Just to give it some detail. Yeah, that, that could work. If you want to still use I have, still I use have the enough materials. for the shiplap for that. Yeah. That'd be like a nice spot. You walk in and like see that. Yeah. If you want to do like an actual mantle. Or yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Sure. I, I, I just want it to be good. I don't want to do like no, a hack, I know. hack job. I know. Not that I'm going to do a hack job on the shiplap, For but sure. like sometimes shiplap can pull like janky. Janky. It's not. It's not basic, but it is. I know, but the way that I'm doing it is not like basic shiplap. Well, it's vertical, and so it looks nice. It's pretty. Um, it'll look good. What would even be the shiplap would even be nice on this wall to like accent this? Yeah. Pretty. That could be cool. 
we have enough for any of these walls so yeah curtains are looking really good they're dropping um it's coming together you know what i mean though like about yeah. like a, a, pl a gray plaster or for something. sure or you can even do like a beige plaster i ordered some samples from portola of roman clay paint okay i got three samples coming cool so we can test that out but so we don't need to rush it but is anyone gonna smack I, I would like to rush it though Okay. So I, I want us to make that call tonight. You know what is also thing we could do when we get the sectional? Um, we could bring one of the Jenny Kane chairs down. That's a perfect corner chair. Jenny Kane chairs. The one in front of our bed. Oh, that is. That's a good corner yeah. chair because it's small. And if we bring the nightstands over, the antique ones from the uh, pod, then we'll probably want to move those chairs away anyways and create more storage for clothes where those Correct. chairs are. What? I want to just make it work. I think I could probably, I could probably condense what I have in that dresser and try to fit it in our one dresser. Maybe that dresser's That's small, but it feels small. Tiny. I know dressers are small. Um, what if yeah. we painted those nightstands white or some color? These ones. Mm. What if we strip them and stain them? The, the, it's a veneer. It is. I think so. That's so why I think we I think we get those antique ones. I think the dark ones will look nice. The ones we had at our sure. last Nashville house. Do we have those? Oh no, we had those in the guest bedroom at the cabin, huh? Yeah. What do we have at the yeah. cabin? We uh, have our nice these ones. These? Yeah, they're, they're they're they've expired. It's weird that R H uses veneer a lot too. Yeah, I'm like our po our poster wood. bed is like veneer, dark I don't wood. I like veneer wood. I'm sorry, I just I can't anymore. Ever since we had that black round table, that RH round table, yeah, at the Texas house, and then we had it in the basement at the Nashville house, yeah, it was veneer and it was like chipping away. The top was like peeling. I know. And she's like, "Where's the solid wood, people? Where's the real? This is real wood. That's mm -hmm. and you can feel it. You mm -hmm. can just so different. Do you like the chairs? I'm obsessed. Don't you like how the chair, the dark goes with this the dark? This is what mess. I was like in my head, what I, I was wanting. And now we need some flowers like greenery, some flowers. We need a vase of flowers, we need a rug. Okay, we need to go order some shit. Do oh yeah, we're, we are getting a rug as well, a new rug, so. Okay, yeah, so. We're, we're basically redoing the whole downstairs. basically redoing the downstairs. We, we were in Florida, you and we were about it, we were like, <laughs> yeah, you caught us, <laughs> we're doing the, we're doing we're that. We're redoing the <laughs> No, uh, when we were in Florida, we were like, you know what, like we want this place to feel like home. And Because we know we're gonna be here for like, it, well, like, we realized becoming parents, we're like, we are at this place all the lot. damn time. Because and we, we work, work from home. home. And when we were in Florida, we were like, you know what? We should just make it the way we really want it. Like, yeah. just we really work, go for it. I think because we thought, oh, we're going to renovate the cabin, move back to the cabin, then work on the farm, move to the farm. We're now thinking we'll probably sell the cabin and, and start the farm really quickly. But realistically, we probably won't be moving to the farm for like another three years. Yeah. So we're like, so okay, if we're here for three home. years, let's make it. Cozy AF. And you guys know we love home stuff and it's just, we tried to have the like, all the stuff, the pieces from the other houses in here and it just doesn't work. Like, I'm sorry. You can definitely make pieces work in other houses. And it's not like this place looked bad. It just didn't no. feel like how we wanted it to feel. And we weren't like proud to be like, here's our house. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to make it exactly how we want it. So anyways, Gorgeous. that's where we're coming from. We don't really incur what anyone thinks because we love it. That's why you guys watch because you love the home decor. I know it. I know you love it. Yeah. So do we. We're geeks And for it, we're so. not begging you to like necessarily our ideas, but we're taking you along with what we desire. Yeah. And we love it. We love it. We love it. <laughs> you guys know we're crazy. Don't, don't like <laughs> right, Y'all know we're I'm crazy. And you're crazy too. I know it. Well, while everything's jumbled, Hunter and I said, let's have a party and rearrange the living room. So that's what we're going to do. This is what our hobbies. Um, we really need a piece for over there where all the toys We need stuff. toy storage. Yeah, that is an issue. Definitely an issue. I mean, that just, the impact, oh the impact is know. just un I'm glad you like the table. Oh my God. It's out. Sometimes the open shelving concept, it stresses me out because it yeah. makes like, 
it makes things cluttery. Remember how like annoyed we were about the shelves yeah, in yeah. the living room at the last house? Oh my god. The, that that drove us like crazy. We, we, we had them looking good like half the time, but sometimes we get tired of it in like a month. Because who has a bunch of knickknacks to decorate? It's just like in its no. phony decor. I know. But speaking of actually, I thought this could really warm up. The yeah. Oh, we got this yesterday too. Yeah. Can I pick that out? Alright, so we need to decide if we're going to put that upstairs as a desk or if it's going to wow. go to storage. This feels so Oh we put the we put two of those chairs upstairs as our desk chairs for now. Yeah. Um, or our office chairs oh, okay. when we get a table. I need to show you my hats. Um, and then, but if we don't take this up, we'll take it to storage. We'll probably take those two to storage, and we'll take that chair to storage. Um, you want to bring that Jenny Kane chair down that matches this? Not yet. I know I'm saying, but if we do, if you want to bring it down when the sectional gets here, yeah, we'd probably want to go ahead and take that to storage. Unless you want to use that somewhere else. No, storage. So both of those two. Yeah, uh, we'll do that all on when we book the appointment for the sectional. Because I just don't want nowhere to sit. Like you're going out of town. Okay, guys, it's time to show my hats for tomorrow. I have not tried on my outfit or anything. Like, it's pretty bad. Um, but that's just how I am. I just do it all at the last minute. This one is sweet, okay? It's my favorite because this feathers like okay i know this looks crazy it's um like i said it's a garden tea party i said this last vlog and it it's like kentucky derby hats basically but this one could be a, just a little too extra this one was the one i was originally thinking so i'm like this is just cute it's practical or we've got this guy a little clip in that's cute so kentucky derby <laughs> i know right that's cute it's that's cute that's, that's very you very huge yeah okay Love it. Or this is the other option, also really big. It's not me. Not you. I think. The babies. I think or the one of these. Yeah. Okay. I I don't mind the f this one, but I think those are two, my two favorite. I'll have to try. That's very pictures. naturally you. Yeah. But this is it's kind of a easier. vibe. Like I know. You could probably wear like a white dress with like. Well, I can't thing. wear white because the bride's wearing. White. Well, you know, beige. Green. I know. Let's you could also it. wear like a colorful dress with that too. Right. But I just have to make sure I have the right one. With, but with this, you're limited on what color you wear. I know. Anyway, okay. they look well, cute. Fun. That's good to know. So what's up, you guys? Okay, it's the next day, Sunday. Um, I have been getting ready all morning. I'm throwing a bridal shower today for one of my best friends, Anna Grace. I told you guys about this last vlog. It's a like garden tea party, Kentucky Derby theme. So I have the funnest hat and outfit to show you guys. Um, I had, I think I showed, oh yeah, I showed yesterday the hats and I was gonna go with the smaller one, but I decided on the feather one because I ended up changing my dress and I think it's just so fun. So I'm like, when the hell else am I gonna wear this? So gotta take the opportunities while you can. So. How cute. This is from my Vici haul. I actually didn't end up showing it in my Vici haul, but you can still use my code on it, Julia Save 20 when you're watching this. It's such a pretty dress. So cute for spring. Very flattering. And then my shoes are YSL. These are, I got these like two years ago. Anyway, so this is the fit. How fun, right? Um, and I'm about to head there because I'm in charge of the flowers. So I got to meet the florist and get there a little bit early. Um, but I'm so excited to see all my friends and just socialize a little bit. Mama needs to get out of the house. So really looking forward to that. Um, okay, so let's get going. Hunter took Smokey over to the cabin. He had to pick up a couple of things, his saw and stuff to do the fireplace project. So he's doing that. And... I'm riding solo, so I gotta get all my stuff together. Okay, just got to our location. There's a wedding going on in there, so if you can hear the music, it's gonna be our little table. Florist is about to get here and she's gonna set up, but nice, beautiful room. This is the Hermitage Hotel, if you aren't familiar. It's in Nashville, it's so pretty. Okay, we've got flowers, and TT did the gift baskets. We've got some pictures with all the girls yeah, up there. Beautiful cake. Look like at that. Oh my god. Okay, the bride's here. Look at how perfect she looks. We're making some TikToks 
and taking pictures, content. We got a little photographer here, and then the rest of the girls are arriving. Hey guys, okay, I'm home from the shower. Sorry, I didn't vlog too much because I just wanted to kind of enjoy, but wanted to show you how cute it was. And um, it was such a fun theme. Like, literally, highly recommend doing like a fun, crazy theme for your bridal or like baby shower. It's just cute and gives everyone an excuse to dress up and it was super fun. So um, I just got home about an hour ago, swapped with Hunter because he had to go to a flag football game that he's playing in. Smokey is down for a nap and we are headed, right when he's done, we're going to meet our friends um, for dinner at their house. Um, my best friend Carly, she is about to give birth. Her due date is literally this week. So oh my God, I have goosebumps when I said that because I'm so excited to meet the baby. She's having a baby girl. I threw her baby shower like probably back in January, February. I vlogged it if you guys remember. Same girl. Um, but we always like to do dinner with them like once a week. So we're gonna go out to their house for a nice little dinner. And this might be our last little dinner before the baby comes. And then her whole world's gonna be flipped upside down. So, but we'll still do that. And then we can get the babies together and it'll be super fun. I'm excited, but I'm just excited to see her. And um, I'm just kind of like tidying up, packing bag, getting ready, getting the diaper bag ready for um, leaving and everything once he wakes up, it's go time. So um anyways just that's the update and it's a nice little beautiful warm sunday it is like literally 80 degrees out it's so pretty um and i feel like summer's just here and it just like made me smile i'm very happy about it hey, pumpkin. okay some of you guys asked to see some meal ideas on um just like whole foods so Here's my matcha, and then having mixed greens with olive oil and lemon, eggs, a sausage patty that's pasture raised with cottage cheese and hot sauce on top. So, it's pretty much what I eat for breakfast every single day. If not the greens, then I do steamed broccoli usually. I kind of like that better. Okay, we just got done with um, a workout for the morning, and we're headed to the store really quick. We gotta pick up a couple things. We're gonna get some milk for our minty oh, yeah, creamy. Milk. We're gonna get some eggs and some steak. Yeah, the essentials, you know. Julie's making me breakfast um, before workouts. Yes. And I'll have like a little something before workout just to like give me some energy, but I usually eat breakfast after workout. Yeah. Um, but now that we're eating like fresher food, we find ourselves going to the store like almost every two to three days, but we don't mind. We just, it's like part of it. You just go through fresher food faster and it doesn't like, you know, you're supposed to eat it right away, so. You didn't make that many changes, like to be honest, like you made a few, but you were already eating pretty much mostly whole foods. Yeah. We were just, the thing we cut back on the most was going out to dinner. Out to dinner and like, Really, sugar has been the big one. That's been hard for me. Coffee with sugar syrup, or like, you just don't realize like how it's in everything. I know if you've cut out sugar before, you know it's like, it's so it's hard to do, and it's like a drug, honestly. But once you get past the like two week mark, the cravings go away, and now I'm in the clear. But I still love sweet things, like the Ninja Creamy, I like look forward to it. A lot of you guys were asking in the comments about protein powder, so you're like, that's fast. Um, my nutritionist is fine with that as long as there's clean ingredients and Flav City is like she's like it's Super 10 clean. out of 10 like best ingredient sells so like awesome yeah. um so she's like just you know have it like once a day obviously don't like you don't probably need too much of it but if you want to hit like certain proteins she's like go for it and kind so. of viewing it as like a clean supplement yeah way. yeah but she's like other than that that's pretty much like the only thing yeah me doing carnivore we're basically on the same diet she's eating veggies yeah I'll have sweet potato and stuff and I'll have some berries, but avocado. One thing I have learned through her though is she's like, you and him are gonna have way different, different needs. Diets, so yeah. I wouldn't even like, what's working for him is not gonna necessarily work for you and vice versa. The painters. Okay, cool. Yes. There's a main barn and there's like two little like, almost like animal shelters. Okay, we got cut off because Somebody is calling about a sewer at the farm, the farm property. The septic approval process for the farmhouse, or obviously not, not the cabin, but the farm, 
that uh, the farm property, the septic approval there is like an 18 month process, approval process, and we're probably like halfway, 16 months in, 17 months in. So we're almost to the finish we... line, but he was calling because he hit, needs a couple more things from us in order to get it finally approved. So. And good thing we've had the time, like we're not rushed to move into it or else we wouldn't have been able to get Zeptic for like, like two years. What do people do when they buy the properties and then they're like ready Don't to know. build and they're just sitting around for 18 months? It's so ridiculous. It's crazy. But, but that's just that, it's just that uh, specific county that it's in. It's really hard to get the approval process. Like they want to keep it where few people are building there and it's a requirement that you have to build on five acres or greater. And so they're just trying to keep the population down, keep it like really pretty and they yeah. make it difficult to build there. So Which we appreciate it. Yeah, we get it. Um, okay. I wanted to show a little, it's a little mini haul of what we got. So we've got eggs. They didn't have the organic ones, but pasture raised whenever you can get it. Um, and organic would be better, but the same brand we bio makes pasture raised organic. Yes. That's what we usually get. So that's that. Cottage cheese refills, we eat this almost with every meal. Really good for protein, it's so good. We're basically addicted now. I got a matcha refill. I've been drinking peak matcha, but I ran out and I have to order online. So I, in the meantime, got this. One avocado, some bananas, Smokey loves these. Organic strawberries and berries, some Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna make some roasted veggies with the mushrooms, onion, garlic, Brussels. My cashew milk, they are market. Um, I love the milk cashew milk, but it's only at Whole Foods and we went to a local place today. So I'll either get milk brand is really good ingredients and so is this one. And then Hunter got a couple grass fed steaks for himself. Okay y'all, it is seed time, home shower, ready for the day. Um, and it's time for seed hour. So one thing about this, my uh, nutritionist approves of this, and she said that seed is fantastic. So that made me feel very self, very self assured when she confirmed the supplement. Um, and she's like, "It's wonderful." So I'm happy about that. Um, and if you're looking for a probiotic, and honestly, I pay her for advice, so I'm basically giving you guys free advice. So <laughs> she 10 out of 10 recommends. Um, this probiotic, it's a prebiotic probiotic combined. And if you know anything about gut health, it basically supports the gut, which is like the center of your digestion, your immune system, literally your entire body. Um, anything that's like autoimmune related, um, usually inflammation or things that happen in the body all stem from the gut. So it's like, that's why it's such a hot topic, like why people are trying to start at the gut because it's just runs everything so you want to keep it in check this is just going to add good bacteria into your gut to help it function correctly um, fight inflammation keep digestion going keep you regular which is the best thing it's for we've been on this now like three years or something hunter and i are like tried and true partners of them and we love their product so much we've gotten lots of family members and friends on seed and it's truly just like the best on the market i think if you need to get on a probiotic so um they also are safe for when you are pregnant and breastfeeding i took this all through my pregnancy and while i was breastfeeding and they have recently come out with one for kids too so it's amazing Now, one thing that we, I did talk about with my nutritionist with this, which is really important, is if you have never taken this in your life and you've been on antibiotics in the past or prescription medicine or things like growing up, which I feel like in our generation, all of us did, like we really didn't have the information about health that we do now. So I've always taken antibiotics and antibiotics are actually they strip all of your gut bacteria because they kill all bacteria. That's why they kill viruses and things like that. So things like this, a probiotic, you can take for months following something like that in order to build good bacteria back up to like rebalance your gut basically and rebalance your body because antibiotics are obviously not natural even though they are modern medicine is wonderful in certain circumstances. So if that's making sense, um, I actually had to take an antibiotic went during my labor, which is really common for a lot of women. If your like water has been broken for a long time or you get at risk for infection. So um, I had to take an antibiotic. So that's why I've been rebuilding with seed um, over time just to like rebalance that and get everything back. Um, so perfect use case for that. 
but if you've never added this into your body it would be a really good thing to add into your supplement routine to kind of like rebalance your gut and stuff so something to consider um, if you guys have questions i can try and answer them um, but seed offers like a ton of education around their product um, on seed university and they're just the best in the game so we always have a discount code running with them i'll leave it in the description down below for you guys and we're we'll, a little we'll seed put it right family. here as well yeah we're a seed family okay unboxing time we've got some exciting boxes so first up we've got a new flav city flavor oh my god you do? yeah bobby sent it to us bobby you guys i was so excited if you follow uh bobby from flav city when my stories went up he dm'd me and i was like fangirling <laughs> he is the funniest person and just like so cute and he was like i'll send you the new brownie flavor i was like okay <laughs> bobby's cool i love so his videos cool. um so we got the new brownie batter flavor which i think is gonna be fire oh. i'm so excited oh and a shaker yes nice. solid you didn't want a new shaker. should we make a ninja cream right now with the brownie batter well we'll have to it won't freeze till tomorrow but or we can sure. you can also do it tonight should we try it like right now oh yeah sure let's do it you want to try it okay <clears throat> will you drink it or yeah will um, you split it with me yeah i'll split it with you let's see so we need milk 12 ounce pause while i wash this out yeah he actually just posted a really good recipe with this and he did um this and then i think in the ninja creamy and then he also did an actual brownie recipe and all of his like cooking recipes are really cool. Well, we should too. try to make like some like brownies brownies i know he posted recipe it's like with banana and like uh, coconut oil how, much, how many ounces um 12. Yeah. yeah it's on the inside too the lines oh beautiful you know what's funny is i was for a long time really the past like the past like year and a half or so Slave city i was stand. pretty much dairy free i would have like cheese and stuff but I, yeah we didn't we haven't bought milk our whole marriage no we haven't you'd buy like creamer and half and half and stuff yeah but, like, i never we never bought milk like whole milk or two percent or whatever you buy but mm -hmm. since i've been on a carnivore diet no it doesn't hurt my stomach yeah, it's it was like all the other stuff paired with milk. You like rebalanced, I feel yeah. like everything. So that's why so like, you have to do. No, I'm like digging that. milk. I love it. Yeah, and it doesn't bother me at all. As long so as it's like good sourced good milk, quality. you're fine. And I'm really liking this brand of milk. But I want to get raw milk, but it's illegal in Tennessee unless you own a cow. <laughs> so, so we're considering no, buying we're a not cow. Buying cow, but but a lot of the people that sell raw milk, they allow you to buy a share of a cow. Yeah. You you pay 50 bucks and you're like I'm down part owner of a cow and then you get you pick up the raw milk uh wheat beef. I'm so down but I, I I applied for it and we're on like a wait list of like a thousand people. Yeah, okay so. well when the time comes I'll be ready we'll go out to the farm we'll pick just, up our we'll, milk we're just gonna get a cow at the farm we well for to. sure oh my god what was that what? Oh. Oh, a wasp flew in and I thought it was on me wait is it wait because you have the window open okay, will, you, will you get it yeah I got it I'm trying, to keep, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to keep him alive, but guide him out. Guide him out. Yeah. It's right there. Crawling around. Oh, there he goes. Flew out. Okay, okay, but he's going to come back. He flew out. He's good. He's good. He's good. Okay, Pressure. just a little bit closer. Okay, ready for this? Taste test. Let me shake it. Did you shake it good? I don't know. Can you do it more? I'm going to say similar to the chocolate, but the chocolate is so good. We're obsessed with the chocolate. Why were they so close? Good? It's like... It's really good. It kind of tastes like the chocolate, but I'm confused because we eat it in the Ninja Creamy. I like can't compare. It's like chocolate milk. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's really good. I'm, I, I'm, I know, we're like... I'm trying to decipher between the chocolate. I had the chocolate protein shake about two hours ago. I know. They're pretty similar, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. The brownie's probably more delectable. Delectable? Mm. Like, more brownie-ish. Mm. His mm. powders are- So delicious. They're unreal, guys. Hopefully we get another code soon, because the code they gave us last time was only 24 hours, but- um, It's all organic. Hopefully we'll get it. Yeah, everything's like really well sourced, so that's the- Careful, it's open. Powder. I know, should we pour into yeah. a bag? It's in a bag. But like, because it won't close. But I think it does. I think I just... No, I try to do it like five times. What's the problem with it? 
and there's like powder. Oh, the in powder there. got in it. Okay. Or we can just do a uh, a clip, 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 clip in the drawer. Yep. Okay, fun. That was a fun unboxing. Um, next up, some Ranch Basic restocks. Oh, nice. We are almost out of dishwasher tablets. Here we go. Let's fill it. Pull the thing out. I hate when I can start to see the bottom of the... I know. Have you ever seen the CPS man, by the way? He's like a vibe. Oh, yeah, he's chill. He has, like, dreads. Yeah. yeah. He's good style. Okay. That's great. Look at this setup. It's, it's cute, right? It's gorgeous. Wow. Branch basics are the best. They really are. It was really nice that they sent us our stuff in Florida, too. I know, that was really nice. They're that's like smoking started crawling a lot, and we were able to pin the floors and stuff with it. I know. And then I'm going to try to convert over to their stuff in the laundry area next. So I got their like laundry starter pack. Um, because I want to try to do that. Once we work through all of our detergent that we have, that's my next area to tackle. I'm trying to go non-toxic in areas that I can manage. Like it is hard to do it all in one swoop. It's so overwhelming because it touches air every area of your life, literally like uh, beauty products, food, cleaning supplies, perfume, toys, material. I mean, it's literally everywhere. So like, I'm just, is slowly doing it in phases and i feel like a lot of people like to get really testy like call you out and be like that's not this or that's not that or like even with like the eating and stuff it's like that's not perfect and it's like i'm not perfect i'm literally never going to be able to be like 100 percent everything clean perfection so i don't expect to see that at all um i'm just doing my best where i can and at least i'm making an effort in some places and i'd love to see what you're eating and cleaning with everywhere so Anyways, um, next package is free people, which is really cool. This is so cute. I feel so special to be included. Wow, that's a fabulous hair tie. Amazing. Cute little colored socks. Definitely wearing those. <gasps> oh, I feel so special. Oh my God. Okay, wait, let's see what this stuff looks like. Cute AF. Love that color pink. Just a nice, simple ribbed tank. We've got Oh, this is the best t-shirt. I have this t-shirt in white. I bought it myself. And it is, I'm pretty sure it's the, um, it's like this kind of like boxy oversized like boyfriend tee. It is so comfortable. Um, like this is a size small. So it's just like boxy and roomy, $38. But it's the best t-shirt. It just looks really like laid back and cute. Um, this looks like, <gasps> this is a PJ set. Oh my God, this is Monkey. cute. Okay, we've got big shirt and then oh, boxer shorts that is cute okay we love it oh they got the memo on the color too good job free peeps oh my god look at these look at this oh my god these are like pj pants but they're little like pink lilac striped which is one of my favorite colors that's so cute and then ooh, yes oversized crew sort of boxy crew neck sweatshirt so cute oh my god what an honor gosh to get a free people package <laughs> i feel like a princess i'm like <laughs> that is like life made if you're getting gifting from free people that's how i feel at least um so cute okay we definitely will be wearing um and we really appreciate that thank you so much free people so honored to be included very cute okay i need to get back to work but those were some fun unboxings of the day and let's see if i can make some room to fit them all in my closet. all right it's late in the evening on monday we've had a busy work day today and we also had painters in the house all day so we didn't really vlog mm -hmm. we've been in this house for one year now surprisingly and our one year builder's warranty was coming to an end so we had a list of like all the final like things for them to do and repair and so they're like a couple like small little hairline cracks between like drywall pieces that they had to repair and paint. So they were here all day doing that. Yeah. There's just chaos here. We got this little crazy man over here. <laughs> doing a late DJ. night set. Hey DJ. Late night show. Wah, 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 wah. The Mr. DJ Smokey. Wah, 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 wah. Anyways, we're gonna do bath time. Well, Mr. Smokey, he's taking a bath. 
Mr. Sulky, you said I'm not gonna die. It's Mr. Rusty. I'll be back, I'm Sheriff. <laughs> He can't sing anything to do with the dog. You okay? There's a baby in a towel. Oh, what is cuter than a baby in a towel? Smokey! They're so cute. Um, <laughs> jum, jum, jum. Oh, dinner and a makeover. Dinner and a makeover. Uh. Beautiful. He looks like Richie Rich. <laughs> <laughs> With his hair combed back. <laughs> hey, Richie. Hey, Dick. It's kind of a cute nickname, Richie. Hey, Richie. Hey, Richie. How you doing? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> you look like an Italian man. You do. <laughs> Suave. Very suave. Okay. Wow, that's gorgeous hair. He's just chewing on it. He's okay, teething. He's teething for sure. Oh. I hope something's coming. Good morning, oh. guys. I don't know. Sleepy today. We're outside of F45. About to go in. And. It's Tuesday. Oh, I'm just not ready. Another workout. How many? We slept eight hours last night. Eight hours. According to the whoop, but we feel really tired. So, I don't know. Anyways, I'm wearing a pimple patch to the gym because YOLO. Um, okay, so we're gonna go get a great workout and then we have some more cabin meetings today, which is exciting. We're gonna go back, we're going to, back to Ferguson. Ferguson and um, finalize our selections. Selections. We're meeting with uh, our rep there. Yep. Last time we just went freehand kind of and like solo and yeah. wanted to browse. Yeah. And today it's actually like decision time. Exactly. So um and, be good. and then we're going to um maybe we need to look at some <gasps> fireplaces and interior doors so we'll Ooh. see if we can get that on the agenda too so it's going to be a little day running around for cabin stuff hunter's leaving town tomorrow so we have to tie some things up before he goes yeah i have a guy's trip to kiowa guys which golf is trip. a golf island for the most part outside of charleston that's gonna be cool. Be fun. Yeah. But um, yeah, we need to work on. Are you guys like going out to dinner? I'm sure we'll do like a dinner or two. Yeah. Um, but back to the cabin. We need to think about the staircase construction details, which we pretty much have. But we need to think about the railing. We have the yeah. riser and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. figured out. And then we need to work on ceiling details. Yes. For, for sure. Free room. Connected on. But, We're running late. Alright, y'all. Get it. Let the games begin. A million ways to win. I'm sick of the weight and sick of the pain. I live with this weight within. That weighs me down, but nevertheless, I find a way to win. I pick up the pace and simmer the game. The shook of the pace I bring. Embrace the savior. They're thinking of ways to slay the king. Running away from ways of sin. She's thinking of ways to break me in. Delivering major. A killing a radar. The bigger the work rate, the bigger the paper I'm telling them fuck your validation Boy, I validate myself These rappers couldn't stomach me They punch below the belt Sitting and dreaming of palm trees More drive than a car thief You're lukewarm, that's half heat I'm Lupe, I'm Kuali I'm most deaf, I'm Ali Who in the hell wanna spar me? 
in a regular party Somebody ring an alarm please, my pole vault to the next stage I've been ahead of the next wave and the next wave and the next wave Labels are playing a guess game, I'll be the king of the chess game Telling them give me the checkmate, I'm a black man in a white world with a mad flow and a fresh face Good afternoon guys, okay, we are headed to our design meeting for we're back, today back at Ferguson Back at Ferguson and we're going to finalize fixtures, uh, plumbing fixtures, sorry So we've got to do all the bathroom faucets, shower heads all that stuff. Toilets. If we can do hardware there, it'd be cool, but I think I'm gonna probably want to do hardware online because yeah. they're a little bit limited. We'll probably source it ourselves. Yes. Um, um, but faucet wise, we'll probably get most of our faucets here. I don't see us going faucets anywhere else, right? Well, only because we were gonna order them ourselves, but we want to do it through the builder because there's like all the stuff around like valve sizes and making sure you have all the right, and plumbing is a little intricate and I just don't trust myself to order that on my own based on our lack of experience. So that's why I feel more comfortable doing it through our rep here um, because I just want to make her to make sure that like we have all the right pieces and she can communicate with the builder. There might be an instance where like in a guest bathroom or a hall bathroom, we'll choose like our own little faucet online and source that. Mm -hmm. But the big thing is you gotta like place the order and like, you know, pass that on to the builder so they know exactly what the plumbing trim looks like yeah. for when they're building out the, the framing and all that exactly. kind of stuff. So anyways, we're gonna jump to it. That's I'm excited it. and it's nice to know that like today is decision day. Exactly. So Feels let's go good make, make some progress. decisions. Yeah. A little more detailed. Maybe yeah. a little more expensive, but yeah, I think the the roll would be a good yeah. Okay. GM. Perfect. What's the material in this again? Called? Uh, it's a resin material. Resin material. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna go with this. Um, and in there, you just want to do a shower on both of the quotes. So monogram. So third order has just a wine fridge without the drawers below. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Which this is gonna be? Where were you gonna? It's gonna be in the kitchen. On, like either side, you're trying to figure it's like out this. like what. So the fridge and freezer, and then the wine fridge is over here. Mm -hmm. Which is completely fine because these are going to be fully paneled. Right. So yeah, and if you so wanted to keep this as monogram, yeah, totally can. fine. Okay. Yeah. And you have to remember, this would be dual zone wine. So yeah, this is all maker. be wine. Yep. Yep. All be wine. Freezer with ice. Always be freezer with ice maker, and then down here it's convertible. Fridge or freezer. But would the glass go all the way up? It can be anything you want. It's either, oh. it's either glass Got like it. this yeah. or all panel. Okay. If you to do the wolf range, the monogram columns would be less expensive. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. So I do that in time. Okay. Yeah. Like if you want to yeah. seven the wolf. Yeah. yeah. To me, it's like so a no brainer. Because you'll have this refrigeration. Yeah. You'll have those refrigerators. Yeah. It's all monogram. So monogram, just keep monogram. Yeah. Because okay. it's less expensive. Yeah. yeah. All right, next up we are looking at some fireplaces. There's not many options in town, so we're gonna check out this place. It could be a fail. Okay, found a couple of options. So this is the deal. So this is probably the one that we would want the most. It's 30 not, not the but the box. Yeah, so the box is like a very simple style. We're going with ventless fireplaces in the house because we're girl. saving money on the girl. The real fireplaces are expensive. We wanted to do them, but um, also people I think these days just like ventless because it's convenient. You can it's literally convenient. put it on with a switch. You don't have to change out like the wood and clean it out all the time. Yeah, it's low maintenance, but also the fireplace itself wasn't expensive if we go wood. It's the box for one, but it's also the stonework in creating a chimney. Yeah. Some of these fireplaces are going to be in spots in the house that don't have chimneys. And instead of putting one in. We can just go with this. Exactly. Um, so that's kind of what we're thinking. We're trying to see if we can change back. And we mean mostly options. like this uh, sleekness of like something like that, like low profile. Yeah, versus, versus like that. thick. Yeah. That's a 36 inch. That's a 36 width. inch. This is 42. 42, which is a little wider. Yeah. I think I like. I that like the look. wider style. This style, but with the tallness of that. Yeah. Yeah, I think so that'll be good. That this isn't bad actually. I know this is the thicker bottom, but that's not terrible. And the backing, I, part of me feels like the backings look fake. The backings are the worst part. So that is the only problem. Um, it would be nice I don't know the well, the cream's like not bad if we had the like default, and I don't think that's that bad either. But I wish that we could find. Maybe we can just like 
We gotta explore a little bit. Oh god. Turn it off. Hunter. Turn it off. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the place boils up. Well, I think our job is done here for today. So we got we might the go brochures. Some, we might go look at some doors. We got the brochures and next we gotta look at doors. For interior doors, we're looking at just doing paint grade doors. We thought about doing custom, but we're trying to limit our budget in certain places, and I think the doors are going to be fine. Um, so we think just a double shaker door for our interior doors. Show the triple shaker. Try behind. A triple shaker. I feel like this gives like a little bit more of like modern feel. Like, yeah. Like more boxy, and then. We have a single shaker in our townhouse, but I had an interior design friend tell me that they look cheap. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so single is like minimal. I think it's more contemporary, but this is sort of a good in-between. So we're gonna go with the double, I think, which means double shaker. Um, so yeah, and then you can paint them any color you want. So. But we're, we'll probably have a couple custom doors in certain areas. Like Most of the custom doors are gonna be exterior. Yeah. We'll have a custom door in our bedroom. Probably. Yeah. We have one for the pantry kitchen. It's like a slider, like pocket door. Yeah. And then... The other ones are just open, right? We'll have the custom steel door, front door, yeah. exterior. Custom from the laundry room exterior. That's custom. We should probably schedule That's meeting. not custom. It's going to be custom. Well, no. it's, well, we're doing a Dutch door. It's going to be like specific. Yeah. Not custom, but yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Probably going to get a wooden Dutch door. Um... And then um, we should probably schedule a meeting with the custom door guy yeah. to see what the prices are. Like, is it like Agree. 300 more a door? Totally. Like, okay. We gotta like wait out options here. Maybe we do all custom downstairs and then like these upstairs. Totally. But we just need to see the pricing of yeah. each one. Yeah. Because I know you would like the wood panel doors. Yeah. And those are beautiful. They and are look, beautiful. They add a nice touch. Yeah. And if all the doors downstairs yeah. where you first walk in and see it all like you have are those. those at least yeah because there's not that many doors it's like the door going into our bedroom i know bathroom yeah uh the uh, powder jack bath. and jill powder bath would be nice to have a custom right and jack and jill but in those bedrooms yeah so, but you know but if you start to say that on every area of the budget i know just but i mean like if we're doing it to our primary bedroom custom yeah. door maybe we do a custom door to the powder bath since it's used a lot. Yeah. And then like all the bedrooms. Could have shakers. And bathrooms could just have the double shaker. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't know. We just need to meet with Figure the custom out. door guy to see what that looks like. That's not really work. Did you call them? Good, how are you? Okay. I just Julie to take my boot off for me. And it won't. It won't come off. Really not helping at all. <laughs> Stop, get back up. <laughs> There! Oh my god. Okay, Smokey's down for the night. Hunter and I are doing all the burger night. It's our favorite. So, sweet potato burgers. Sweet potato burgers. Already cooked with sweet potatoes. And we're actually using our new Caraway non toxic cookware, which I'm so excited about. Um, I shared this on Instagram, but I thought I'd just mention I have a code here. I know you guys are following the health journey. 100% um, non-toxic pot and pan. Pots and pans. They also have cookie sheets, so I want to get those next. I was nervous that you couldn't get a good crisp on them, but, but look at the that. Crisp is great. They are just turning out gorgeous, and they're so easy to clean. We're obsessed so far. So legit. yeah, we got a little got four set, set over, over here, and then comes with lids, which you can um, comes with this thing with hooks, and you can just hang them on the inside of your cabinet. So so far so good, and they're beautiful. And um, yeah, I just got some hockey on. We're gonna make our burgers. Oh, anyways, the caraway code is, I think it's Juge Havens for 10 or 15% off. I'll put it below though, just in case. Um, I know I have thought about that cookware forever, so if anybody has a on it, I just wanted to shout that out in we'll case love it. that you, yeah. Our, um, and it's, our fans. it's wonderful. It is a Ninja Creamy Couch Time. Our favorite time of the night. It's early actually tonight, yeah? 7.50. 750, okay, so we we'll probably do one episode. We wanna to try to get in bed early. We did huge chocolate chips, pecans, and a little sea salt. Oh my god. 
Cops and fire. Fire pookie. Mm. So good. Mm-hmm. Guys. The ninja creepy changed our life. And so did the sweet potato sliders. Mm-hmm. This whole meal from dinner to dessert. This is a dream night. Was a 12 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Watch our show, The Resident, maybe an episode or two. I'm gonna hit the hay. And then I leave tomorrow for a golf trip to Kiowa. Uh huh. Kiowa Island. Right outside of uh, Charleston. There's like 16 guys going. And I booked it like, what, a year ago? Nine months ago? Yeah, a long Something time like that. ago. So leave tomorrow. We so it's gonna be a girls' weekend. Well, girls' weekend with girls Smokey. Weekend with Smokey. <laughs> and then I get back and I'm home for like two days. And then Julia leaves for Delaney's Bachelorette party. Bachelorette. Yeah. And then you get back mm -hmm. for a couple of days. And I leave for Clayton's bachelor party. And then yep. I get back for a day. And we leave the next day for San Francisco for a week. Yep. To visit your parents. And then when we get home, Hunter's parents get here two days later. The, no. Right? We, then we get home and I leave for a trip in Chattanooga for a day and a half. Mm. The next day. And then when I get back, my parents are arrived that same day. That's right. And they're here for like four or five days. That's right. And then right after that, we're going to Carmel. For the wedding. For the so wedding. it's like boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, bam. Oh, wow. While well, we're managing the cabin. Yeah. So we have our hands full. It's all fun stuff. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be But busy. it's like balancing work yep. with the cabin, with Smokey. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, normal standard life stuff. Yeah. And um, travel. So let's have a fun next couple weeks. And we'll see you stuff. next video. Are you going to do a girls, week, girls video? Yeah, I'm going to do a vlog. For, um, um, I will do a vlog when Spunky and I are here by ourselves just because it's fun. And then we said we were going to do a QA and a after Florida. We still owe, owe that to y'all. So we're going to mm -hmm. do one maybe in the next week or so. Yeah. Do you think? We'll do I'd that? love to. We can maybe we'll tomorrow. do a spritz and chips with our ninja creamy. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, we'll see you on the next video. Love you guys. Let's get to eating. Sorry. Bye. 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 Something to nothing, I promise I'm coming, I'm setting it up in the blaze Glutton the brothers is plotting on me I'm in a cup with a couple of G's I wouldn't bother to bother the one Running a shot of this bob and I weave Never forgetting that nothing is free I've been ahead of them, I'm in the lead I was a brother with nothing to see One of the rappers who got a degree I'm just a brother with nothing to hide Ready to get in no matter the heights Give you a little advice Don't be the one that be living a lie if you